About two years ago, I've built this toy for my dog, where a laser is being controlled with two servos to give it a random movement, where the laser dot escapes and he can chase it. The laser worked perfectly, but during my recent move it got damaged, so in this video we'll fix it and I'll explain the principle of operation. Before we continue, if you are new around here, consider subscribing. I make weekly videos exploring code and electronics in a fun and practical way. The project consists of four parts, an Arduino board, two microservers and a laser module. They are all housed in a plastic container from a sour cream, where the Arduino board is glued to the bottom, while the servers and the laser are on the top. Previously I had the servers glued to the lid with some hot glue, but it didn't hold up. To fix this, I'll use some double-sided foam tape as this proved to be very durable where I've used it. The alignment on the lid is not that crucial as it can always be adjusted by rotating. The other servo is directly attached to the first one, so they can together move the laser in two directions. The first one moves it left and right, while the second one moves it up and down. The laser module is attached to the arm of the second servo, with some hot glue that seemed to be still holding up. The electrical wiring of the project is relatively easy. Servo motors have three wires, power, ground and signal. The power wire is typically red and should be connected to the 5V pin on the Arduino board. The ground wire is typically black or brown and should be connected to a ground pin on the Arduino board. The signal pin is typically yellow, orange or white and should be connected to a digital pin on the Arduino board. In our case, we use digital pins 9 and 11. Note that servos draw considerable power, so if you need to drive more than one or two, you'll probably need to power them with a separate supply and not the 5V pin on your Arduino. The laser module has three pins, but only two of them are being used. The one on the left side is a positive connection and it's typically marked with an uppercase S, while the negative connection is on the right and it's marked with a minus. You can get the link to the full schematic in the video description. Now that the repair is done, let's have a look at the code and how this device operates. A typical 9 gram microservice has a movement of 180 degrees and it's controlled by a PWM signal. This signal is generated from the Arduino with the help of the servo library. The library provides a convenient method called write that writes a value to the servo, controlling the shaft accordingly. On a standard servo, this will set the angle of the shaft in degrees, moving the shaft to that orientation. In our case, we want to limit this movement to a maximum of around 50 to 70 degrees in each direction, so the area where the dog runs is not too big so he does not get tired too soon. Additionally, I've used these limits to set the perimeter of the laser so it does not exceed the area that my dog has to move. They are being set at the beginning of the sketch, together with the definition for the two servos and the variables that we're gonna use for their position. In the setup function, we first initialize the servos and attach them to the correct pins on the Arduino. This will tell the library to output the PWM signal on that pin. Next, we write the initial position to both servers and for us to be able to properly place the toy, I've added some code that will move the servers in a circular pattern for three times on the edges of the limit that is set. This way, you can see where the dot moves and adjust the placing of the toy accordingly. In the loop function, we first generate two numbers, representing the next angles of the two servers and we provide the limits that we previously set. The random function in Arduino can accept the minimum and maximum value that it needs to generate. These values are then sent to the servers one at a time with a delay of half a second in between. For me, this proved to be a good point at which the dog was kept interested in chasing it and the servers could keep up with the updates. I hope that this video was educational and interesting so hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. You can check some of my other videos and most importantly, join the notification squad to be the first one to watch next week's video. Cheers and thanks for watching.